How's it going guys, Tavius here and today we're talking Ashen Wakes. The big update to solar subclasses is finally here and there is a lot to go over, but in this video we're going to cover the Ashen Wakes exotic arms for the Titan and how to get the most out of them with Solar 3.0. As usual, first we'll go over the subclass aspects and fragments, next we'll go over the armor and armor mods, and last some weapon options and recommendations. So for the Sunbreaker Titan we're going with Hammer of Soul. Burning Maw has a faster base cooldown but it doesn't feel right at its current state, it's going to need some adjusting for sure. And throwing hammers will be a lot more beneficial for the build we're going over today, we'll get there in a minute. We have our towering barricade, throwing hammer melee which got updated to give Cure, one of the new verbs introduced to the solar subclasses. You are healed in a burst of mending solar light, so you get healing when you pick up the hammer after hitting a target, if you miss your target and pick up the hammer it won't heal you and our fusion grenade of course, since it's a grenade that works with dashing wakes, an explosive grenade that attaches to targets, damaging and scourging them on detonation. Two more new verbs are introduced here, scourge and ignition. Scourge is pretty much burned from before the 3.0 update, only difference is now you can apply stacks of scourge to enemies, dealing damage over time, and when enough stacks of scourge or burn are applied, the stacks explode or ignite. Ignition is a large solar explosion which deals damage to an area around the target. We're gonna go deep into the scourging and igniting with this build, so we gotta understand these too. Moving on to the aspects, we got a total of 3 aspects with the Titan, and with this build we're using Soul Invictus. Solar Ability Final Blows, Hammer of Soul Impacts, and Defeating Scorched Targets create Sunspots. Your abilities regenerate faster and your super drains more slowly while standing in a sunspot. This one is super important since we will be creating lots of sunspots with abilities, super kills and weapon kills also. Sunspots also scorch enemies standing in them and give us a buff when we stand in them. This aspect introduces a new verb, restoration. You regenerate health and shields over time and cannot be interrupted by taking damage, so every time you see a sunspot nearby go stand in it, it will regenerate health and shield while also regenerating all your abilities faster so you can get your grenade back immediately. Now for the second aspect we have Roaring Flames. Final blows with solar abilities or ignitions increase the damage of your solar abilities, stacks 3 times. So super kills, grenade kills, throwing hammer melee kills, and kills with the weapon that scorches and ignites enemies will increase the damage of solar abilities, excellent for throwing hammer or grenade. Both of these aspects give us 2 fragment slots each for a total of 4. But before we jump over to the fragments, I have to mention the third aspect, the aspect of Consecration, a completely new ability for the Titan. While sliding, activate your melee ability to launch a wave of solar energy forward, damaging and scourging targets in front of you as you leap into the air. While in the air, activate your melee again to slam to the ground and create a second larger wave of solar energy and ignite any scorched enemies. This ability is super cool looking, so at least give it a try to see it for yourself. Downside to this aspect is we only get one fragment slot, so I will not be using it. Ok, let's talk fragments now. For the first fragment we have the Ember of Wonder. Rapidly defeating multiple targets with ignitions generates a normal power. We also have an extra 10 on resilience with this fragment. Next the Ember of Combustion. Final blows with your solar super cause targets to ignite. 10 extra points on strength with this one. The Ember of Blistering, defeating targets with solar ignitions grants grenade energy, great for our fusion grenade build and Ashen Wake. And last the Ember of Eruption, your solar ignitions have increased area of effect, with extra 10 points on strength. So as you can see we're going to get a lot of benefits from scourging enemies and igniting them. We'll create sunspot, create orbs of power, generate grenade energy and a few extra things with our armor mods. Let's move on to the armor and armor mods. On my helmet I've equipped two harmonic siphon mods which create orbs of power with wrapper solar weapon final blows. These stack and I had an extra point so why not? Equipping multiple copies of this mod increased the potency of the generated orb, so we'll get a bit more super energy from the orb of power created. And I also have elemental ordnance to create a solar elemental well with grenade kills. Remember that any solar elemental wells you pick up will grant you ability energy to all your abilities. For my arms, Ashen Wakes, a random exotic drop released back with the Warman DLC. Xur sometimes has it for sale if you don't have this yet. 
The exotic perk is Bring the Heat. Fusion grenades now explode on impact and gain increased throw speed. Final blows with fusion grenades grind grenade energy. So now our grenades explode on impact, scorch and ignite enemies, grant you grenade energy and generate solar elemental wells. Let's keep going. I've also equipped an unstoppable scout rifle for champions and a scout reloader since I'll be using my scout rifle for the most part. And the last mod on Ashen Wakes is Well of Ordnance. Picking up a solar elemental well grants you additional grenade energy, another way to get a grenade back fast. Moving on to the chest piece, I have a solar resistance since a lot of the enemies in the new containment activity do solar damage, but this is up to you. And firepower. Yes, we're using charge with light this time. You could definitely leave charge with light out if you don't want to use it and still be just fine, but I'm going all out to get our grenades back even if we miss the targets. Firepower. While charged with light, regain a portion of your grenade energy when you use your grenade, consuming one stack of charge with light. This is similar to the grenade kickstart mod on the arms stasis affinity, so if you have stasis affinity on your ashen wakes, you can totally go that route instead. Now for the legs, I went with innervation, which reduces grenade cooldown each time you pick up a normal power. Then I have a shotgun scavenger and elemental charge. This is how we become charged with light. Become charged with light by picking up an elemental well. If the elemental well is solar, you gain two stacks of charge with light. Good for two grenade throws until you pick up another solar elemental well, which they're going to be everywhere. There'll be no shortage of solar elemental wells. And last for a class item, I've equipped Withering Heat from the Seasonal Artifact, causing damage with the solar ability weakens champions. Also, Molten Overload to disrupt Overload champions with our grenades. So now we're stunning Overload champions and also weakening them with Withering Heat. And for the very last mod, I have Elemental Armaments to create solar elemental wells with solar weapon kills. Like I said, so many solar wells and orbs. Alright, so now that we've got the armor and mods covered, and before we go over weapons, my stats are leaning pretty heavy on grenade and super, since my Hammer of Soul super has a base cooldown on over 10 minutes. So at tier 8, we're looking at 8 minutes 19 seconds if you do nothing. And our grenade at tier 6 with 45 second cooldown, more like 3 seconds with this build. Now let's talk weapons. For my kinetic weapon, I'm going with the shotgun. Our energy weapon is a primary weapon, so we need a special weapon in the kinetic slot. I'm using this Fortissimo shotgun with osmosis to turn it into solar and also create solar elemental wells with it. This shotgun also heals you with the Vanguard's Vindication Origin trait, so why not? You could also run a sniper or a grenade launcher here if that's your preference. Now, Skyburner South, let's get into it. Skyburner South got a pretty substantial rework with Season 17. The tracking of the projectiles got a small nerf and only track when hit firing, plus applying scorch to targets. This is the best way to use this weapon, hit firing. You'll scorch everything. If you aim down sights, slugs travel faster and straight and don't apply scorch to target. On top of all that goodness, this weapon still deals increased damage to Cabal and penetrates Cabal shields while firing full auto, so you just hold down the trigger and scorch ignite everything. This is extremely effective in the new seasonal activity, you've got to try this. So since this weapon got updated, now it seems that the catalyst for it only grants it faster reload speed, which is enough in my opinion considering what the weapon already does. Now for the heavy weapon, I'm doing rockets. The Ascendancy Solar Rocket Launcher, reach a weapon from the Season of the Lost. This rocket launcher can swap between chain reaction if you want it for add control, or explosive light if you want it for boss damage which is what I'm going with since Skyburner's Oath and Grenades will do most of the ad clearing here. Another option for this slot could be the Archon's Thunder Solar Machine Gun from Iron Banner, or if you're feeling reckless, the Caster Frame Solar Scar from Trials could go well with this solar build. Alright, so with this Ashen Wake Titan build, we'll have our Fusion Grenades up and ready all the time. All our solar ability kills will create sunspots to scorch enemies and regenerate our abilities and health while standing in them. The Roaring Flames aspect will increase the damage of our fusion grenades and our exotic weapon will scorch and ignite targets while also generating solar elemental wells to recharge our abilities. Scorching enemies will trigger ignition and these ignitions will create also power with the Ember of Wonder fragment and also grenade energy with the Ember of Blistering fragment 
while the Ember of Eruption will increase the area of effect of those ignitions. And there it is, my friends. Careful not to blow yourself up with those fusion grenades, though. I hope you find this video helpful and informative, and if you did, a like and heavy attack on that subscribe button really helps the channel grow. Let me know in the comments what you're enjoying the most about this Solar 3.0 update and what you'd like me to make a video on. If you'd like to join my new Discord community, I'll link it down in the description. My name is Tavius Plays, I thank you for your viewership, and if you want to watch other informative Destiny 2 videos, you can click here.